Hello everybody, I'm going to be looking into your third party situation. You're going to see what's going on with your person and their other partner, uh, what's going on with your connection, so let's get into it. Um, okay, so what is going on with your person and their, their other partner? What is that connection looking like at the moment? And then we'll take a look and see what's going on with you guys, how that all relates. All right. What is going on with your person and their their current partner? How is that relationship going? What do we need to know about that? Hope, understanding, the warrior, complicated, belonging, meditation, and confidence. All right. Let's take a look at this. I still sense a lot of back and forth energy. I do get the feeling that he or she they keep getting torn down by the karmic. I feel like I feel pain from them. So it's like they have this hope and they think that they've finally come to some mutual understanding. You know, keep in mind a lot of these a lot of these um karmic relationships, it's like it's just easier for them. It's you know, it's not as scary as a soulmate or a twin flame connection. It's like some of them just kind of go back to that comfort zone. It's like they're not really deeply in love, but since they're not deeply in love, they can't get deeply hurt. So it just kind of feels safe to them. It feels comfortable, even though their soul nags at them to be with their true person, you know? Um, it's just this, this sort of complacency and this sort of just numbness and and just trying to survive and it's like you they have like this sexual aspect of the relationship or they have that comfort but it's like they're not really happy you know they still feel alone um i feel like i feel like the karmic is messing with his or her head right now quite a bit because i get with the hope and understanding card i kind of feel like there was some hope there that i mean it's not to say that it's not to say that your person has no feelings for the karmic. I'm sure there are feelings there. But a lot of it, like I said, is just comfortability. It's like it's just they don't want to be alone. And they don't know if they can handle a twin flame or soulmate connection. Like it requires a lot of healing. It requires a lot of vulnerability, emotional depth, honesty. And some of them are just afraid of that. You know, they'd rather just have someone they can go out to eat with and, and hang out with and talk to but keep it on kind of like a surface level like it never really gets deep you know they never really bear their soul to this person so it feels it just feels safe and comfortable it's like they can have somebody there they can have that attention but without being in a relationship that's gonna you know trigger all these wounds and trigger all these fears of of getting hurt and whatnot you know what I mean because it, it just it doesn't I mean, they do have feelings for the karmic, but it's like those feelings only go to a certain point. Um, but yeah, I feel like your karmic is kind of messing with your DM or DF's head right now. Um, there was, there's some hope or understanding. So the past, what was it, like a month or two when I did, a, when I did one of these third party readings, I was getting that, the, that, you know, your person was betrayed by the karmic, like cheated on or just hurt so much that I mean cheated on or betrayed or could have been cheated with like a friend of his or something like that or a friend of hers it was just that kind of energy and they knew that they couldn't go back from there they knew that the trust was broken and it's like they were just they were just miserable I mean it, it did hurt them a lot I do feel like there was pain but I think a lot of it was just more of like an inconvenience like they're already settling for this person. They're already settling for less than what their soul and heart truly wants, you know? Um, and so to, to, to get betrayed and screwed over by somebody that you're already settling for was just kind of like a slap in the face. It's like, really? <laughs> but I think that needed to happen because they were in denial for such a long time. And just, you know, again, just trying to be complacent, trying to just pretend like, okay, this isn't, you know, this isn't, might not be my true love, but, you know, I like this person enough. I care about them enough 
there's we're compatible enough it's kind of like almost like more like they were making like a logical decision when it comes to love and relationships and making the logical decision to stay with the karmic but when this this huge betrayal happened i think this was within the last few months or so when that huge betrayal happened it's like they just they couldn't go back to just being complacent and being denial and just pretending like everything's fine they're like okay like, it's so obvious that this relationship is missing something. It's so obvious now that this relationship is, like, I can't be myself in this relationship. I can't be happy in this relationship. Like, all those things they were in denial about just kind of came crashing down. It's like, like, okay. <laughs> and they're, cause some of them, I mean, some of them are wanting to leave, but some of them are kind of wanting to just go back to how things were, where it's just comfortable and complacent. Um, so with that being said, I, I do feel like, yeah, the karmic is trying to weasel her, his or her way back in and trying to apologize for whatever they did. And I think your person is kind of, I feel like they might have lied about, I think the karmic might have lied about why he or she did what they did. Like if they cheated or something, they might have said like, oh, this person forced me to do it or this person like, got me super drunk and I couldn't help myself or they're going to play the victim. The karmic is going to play the victim and make some excuse. So they feel like recently there was like hope, you know what I mean? Like the, the, your, your person didn't know how they ever get through this betrayal. They're like, you know, it's all that came crashing down. It's like, it's, they're so obvious that this relationship is just not for him, not for her. Just, it's just unhappy. Like they couldn't just be in denial anymore and just, sweep everything under the rug because you know when you get betrayed like that it's right in your face and you have to deal with it but they don't want to deal with it they just they want to just have somebody there but not have the deep connection you know um so yeah i think the karmic gave them hope recently and and they felt like they had some sort of understanding because they may they think the karmic made some excuse or begged for them to stay or did something to try to just play the victim and so your person felt like they had this new sense of understanding like okay maybe i can forgive this maybe this is why they did what they did and so they come through with this warrior kind of energy like okay i'm going to be strong i'm going to try to see if we can still work this out um but then it's like they just it's complicated it's still complicated and the lies are going to come out uh i feel like they're going inward and connecting with you telepathically too because they just want to they want to just finally have that sense of belonging and that sense of home and they're realizing that you know this isn't their home that they're not going to be able to be happy with this person it's so i know i channel very similar energy in these readings but it's like they really do go back and forth a lot you know some days we get like okay they're finally about to leave they're 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 done and then it's like the next couple weeks i'll do a reading and it's like the karmic pulled some shit you know the karmic drag them back around and I guess it does make sense because with with a karmic relationship it's like there's this lesson that you're you're they're learning from each other so sometimes that phase sometimes it does go in a, a merry-go-round you know what I mean like if they're not learning the lessons that they're meant to learn through the connection it's like it's just kind of like it just goes in this merry-go-round it's like this karmic cycle and neither one of them knows how to end it even though neither one of them is truly happy it's like not only is this person keeping you from your actual twin flame or soulmate, but your person is also keeping them from theirs too, if you think about it, because your person is their lesson too. You know, they're, they're learning from each other. But these, I think karmic relationships can be very codependent and they can be very stagnant. And so sometimes it really is hard for them to get out of that energy. Uh, but, but yeah, your person really want, just wants to feel at home finally. They want to feel like they belong. And so I think they're doing that through meditation. I think they're trying to connect with you spiritually or just connect with themselves more spiritually they're trying to rebuild their confidence not let this connection um you know just destroy them anymore like it has been basically what else what else can we say about this karmic connection what else is there to say about it and then after that i want to look into you guys death page of swords seven of wands king of swords okay yeah, I think, I feel like your person is like, I think your person's exhausted and they're just wanting peace. It's like with that last spread we got, it's 
kind of like they had hope and understanding, but it wasn't like super deep and spiritual. It was just like, it's like almost, almost like ignorance is bliss. You know what I mean? Like they didn't really want to deal with a whole breakup and being, and having to go out and be alone and having to explain to their friends why they broke up and maybe having, you know, financial separation from the karmic or whatever it might be. They didn't want to deal with all that. You know what I mean? It's like this relationship is like convenience and comfortability. So it's almost like, I don't know, like they made an excuse for why they cheated or why they betrayed them. And like your person just kind of like accepted it because they didn't want to deal with it anymore. You know what I mean? They just wanted to go back to denial. So they're like, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll go with that. You know, sure. You got too drunk. That's why you cheated. Or sure. My friend tried to, tried to force you or something, or my friend tried to come on to you and you just, you weren't in your right mind, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like those kind of excuses. And they're just like, sure, sure. We'll go with that. I think their soul is getting louder and louder though, though. You know, I, I feel like yeah, see, I'm 11 minutes, 11 seconds in when I said that. So I feel like they kind of try to go back to denial for a minute, and then they just realized how complicated things are, and they're like, you know what, no, it's not that simple. It's like the karmic's lies are coming out right now, I feel. I do, that makes sense. I think the karmic's lies are coming out. I think that's what happened. I think that he or she lied about why they betrayed your person, your DM or DF or whoever this person is. They, they lied about why they did it. They made some excuse. But maybe I think the lies came out because I, there's just kind of this sense of like, oh, screw this bitch. Like, really? Really? So they're sort of just realizing, you know, it is complicated. It's not as simple. You, you know, the, the karmic's not as innocent as she or he tries to present themselves to be. I feel like maybe... Maybe if they tried to blame, maybe if they cheated and they tried to blame it on somebody your your person knows, like they actually had a heart to heart, a front, like face to face talk, and your DM or DF's friend was like, no, I never came on to to your person, I never came on to your karmic, like I never, I didn't flirt with her, I didn't make her have sex with me, like she did that on her own, she's the one that took advantage of me, or not the other way around, you know. Or, or maybe like maybe your mask maybe your your person went through their phone or they caught something online, like maybe caught them looking at porn or something or, um. Caught them. I don't know if it'd be porn or like talking to somebody online. There's just this energy of like secrets basically, and that were were revealed. So it's like yeah, your your person tried to just go back to being complacent and being a denial. And they accepted the karmic's bullshit. They accepted his or her lies, you know, her excuses for why she betrayed him and did what she did. Um, but then the truth came out. So now there's there's no more denial. It's like, no, he's he's trying to be smarter. He's like, no, I know better than this. And he, I feel like he wants this to be over, he or she. Again, don't get caught up on gender. So it it's, could be male, male, could be female, 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 male. It's whatever, whatever energy you're in, you know? So don't get caught up when I say male, female. But your person, yeah, they want this to be over. They want this karmic situation to be dead. Uh, I feel like with the Page of Swords here, I feel like there's a there's a huge power struggle between the karmic and your DM or DF. So they want the situation to be dead and they keep trying to come through with this message saying, hey, I'm done. Like we can go to court and I'll, we'll fight for custody of the kids if we have kids or we'll figure out how to split finances or we'll figure out who gets the apartment and who has to move out. Like we're, your, your person keeps trying to come to them and say like, okay, I'm... They don't have much energy left. That's the thing is the karmic has drained their energy so much that it takes them a lot of courage and energy to like to muster up the strength just to to come forward and try to end this relationship. You know, they're just very numb. They're very depressed. They're very exhausted. So it takes everything that they have in them. It probably takes them days just to muster up the energy to plan out this message to the karmic to end things, you know, um, and so they keep trying to end this. They're they're coming coming forward and and communicating you know pages are about messages and swords is like a very harsh like logical strict to the point energy so it's not like a heart-to-heart -heart talk 
that you know your person and the karmic are having it's it's more like they come forward and they say hey this is i'm tired of this i'm tired of your lies i'm tired of your manipulation i'm tired of you know you cheated on me you did this like we need to face the facts like this isn't the happy relationship we thought it was you know like we're both we both have other people out there that would be better for us we're not compatible we have too many differences you know this isn't working out for me anymore it's not the comfortability and the complacency is not worth it anymore. I'm too miserable with you. I'm I'm not happy. I would rather muster up whatever little energy I have left that you haven't stolen from me and use that energy to get the fuck away from you. <laughs> you know, like, we'll figure it out. You know, custody battles, uh, moving, living situations, whatever, we'll figure it out. Like, I just, I want to get this over with. I want this chapter of my life to be over with. But, see, the karmic is much more dominant than your person is that's the problem and it doesn't mean that your your twin flame or soulmate is a weak-minded person but if they've been in this toxic abusive connection for a while they're just they're drained you know or they've been in this situation where they feel alone they feel misunderstood they they you know it was like it was comfortable at first but it's just like that lack of real emotional connection in their life like maybe they don't have any close friends either just that lack of emotional depth, that lack of connection in their life is really making them just feel alone and, and unhappy and depressed and just their energy is just so low and they feel so hopeless about life right now. So that's the problem is, yeah, they muster up the energy they, to try to end this, to try to get away from this, to come forward to the karmic and say, hey, this is over, I'm done. But then she gets in this energy, he or she gets in this energy where they control them and they manipulate them and they say you know like if they have kids they're like you know what if you leave me I'm going to keep the kids I'm going to make sure I'm going to lie in court I'm going to make sure that you don't get custody of the kids so if you want to leave you can go ahead and leave but I'm going to make sure that that I win in court and that you never get to see your kids again or they say you know like I'm not going to move out you're going to have to move out or I'm, I'm going to keep the apartment and you're going to have to be homeless if you want to break up with me or I'm going to tell all your friends that you abused me or I'm going to tell this karmic is very like they're very they have this victim mentality with the, this group I'm channeling um very 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 manipulative very toxic so they're like yeah I'm going to tell all your friends you did this to me or that to me or I'm going to tell your friends or I'm going to tell your family what you said or they they're blackmailing them to stay with them it's pretty pathetic and sad um they're manipulating them it's like she's like standing her ground she's claiming what's hers and it's almost like for some of them it's almost just like a power like the karmic has a power struggle with you it's like she just doesn't want to lose to you she doesn't want to deal with the humiliation of him leaving her and going to you or her leaving him and going to you or her or you know however that plays out whatever the gender is it's like they they um they don't want to deal with the humiliation of, of losing their person to somebody else, to you, you know? And so they almost see it. It's like they're playing a game. They see it as a game. They're, the karmic is just, it's like they're claiming what they think is theirs. They see you, they see the person as, they see the, your person as property, you know? Um, ugh, just so manipulative. And he just, again, he or she is just so drained by this person, this psychic vampire, that when they do that, the manipulation, they kind of just cave because they don't know what else to do. They don't know how to get away. They don't know how to escape from this. They don't have the energy for it, so they just go back to being numb and complacent and miserable because it's like the King of Swords reverse. You know, upright, this is somebody who's strong and powerful and confident and logical and you know is capable of leaving this toxic person but upside down it's like she's putting this person in this like reverse king of swords energy where their their power is gone their strength is gone their confidence is gone um i just want to look really quickly into what's going on with your connection too you know you can you can send your person it is good to send your person healing energy send them love send them support send them you know telepathically communicate and send them healing energy and and you know light a, a white candle for them and and try to just send them good energy it's 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 good to do that um hold space for them but also don't i don't want to ever encourage people to put their life on hold for them because these karmic situations can last for months or years even you know it, it can it can be a bit crazy at times it can be toxic so you know hold space for them but keep living your life don't just wait for them don't let this drag you down you know what i mean 
um, send them healing, but just do it from like a detached way. And in, in, in a sense, it's like feel those emotions when you're sending the healing, but then go about the rest of your day without just obsessing and thinking about them all the time. You know what I mean? Just have that good balance, that healthy balance. Um, because these karmic situations, I've been in these, and they're, they get really frustrating when it's like you think they're finally about to leave the karmic, and then she or he pulls them back in, and they, they just change their mind, and they just go back to being numb and complacent. And, and so it is really complicated energy because it's like, yes, I do feel like they're wanting to leave. Like that desire is strong. Like the love is gone. The romance is gone. Um, there's, I mean, there's a little bit of love left. There is like this familiar energy left, but... But they are wanting to leave. They just, they don't have the energy to leave is what I'm feeling for this group. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, what is, what's going on with your connection with them? Him or her? What's going on with your connection? Why don't you show me here? Show me straight into the point, please. Straight into the point. The Devil, the Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands, Reverse, Queen of Wands, Upright, Two of Cups, Strength, Temperance. Okay, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's referencing more blocks from the karmic. I feel like the devil is the karmic here. You know, you see it's like this knight is trying to make this out of you. You could have come up in conversation with um, friends. If you and your person have mutual friends, you might have come up in conversation and the karmic might have been like, oh, hell no, don't mention her, don't mention him, drop it, you know, um, that kind of energy. It's like this person is trying to make this, this fearless, masculine, brave move towards you, whether they're male or female. It could be a female in this masculine energy too, trying to make this, this, you know, this brave decision to get away from the karmic and to come towards you and, you know, open up conversation with you if you guys haven't been talking for a while. There's that kind of energy there. So it's like they're trying to make this vow to themselves and also to you to be a better person, to be a stronger person, to be loyal, to follow their heart more. And it's like the karmic just comes right in and with this devil energy, it just kind of blocks them could also be their own addictions if they're dealing with alcohol or a drug addiction or maybe like doing drugs or out or drinking a lot with the karmic um or just in this kind of toxic codependent energy with the karmic that could also be presenting a block in your relationship some of them might just have these like addictions and toxic patterns that they really need to work through i feel like I feel like this devil energy also makes them feel like they're not good enough for you. So whether this is their own addiction and their own codependency and like self-sabotage and self-destructive tendencies and not having their life together and thinking like they make this vow to you, but then they're like, wait, can I really give my person all this energy? Like, can I really, am I really going to be good enough? Am I really going to be able to match my words? Am I really going to be able to step up for this queen of wands the way I want to be able to step up or... You know what's gonna happen there and and it's like the devil energy kind of blocks them so whether that's their own addiction and their own toxic behaviors and self-destructive patterns or it's the karmic or again for some probably a mix of both probably having self-destructive codependent patterns in regarding and involving the karmic whatever it is it's like they it's kind of back and forth energy that blocks them at the moment and you see the ace of wands upside down here too it's like he or she is looking at the queen of wands, but it's like they don't have the energy. They don't have the inspiration. It's like they're still thinking about you. They're still missing you, but they don't have the energy to pursue you. They don't have the energy to give you this love offer and give you everything you want right now. You know what I mean? Like they're just trying to survive the karmic and get out of that situation and heal um, so they can like make room for so they can get their energy back and actually have room for a real healthy relationship in their life. But right now, so much of their energy is being drained and so much of their attention is just focused on just surviving the karmic and figuring out how they're going to get away from the karmic. Um, so they just, they don't have the energy or inspiration or motivation to really come towards you at the moment. But they are still thinking about you. They are missing you. You probably are showing up in their dreams. 
you know, the Queen of Wands energy, they see you as this passionate, charismatic, um, just elegant, wonderful, charming person. You know, they see you as this queen, this beautiful energy, this light. You know, look how strong and seductive and confident she is. That's such a different energy than the devil energy we see, which is the karmic. Uh, you know, the Queen of Wands is just beautiful. So I think that your person is aware that that they love you and that you're that you know you are their person i do feel like they're, they're becoming more and more aware of that but again they just they don't feel like they have they don't feel like they're good enough for you they don't feel like they have anything to offer you right now because they're they're dealing with probably mental illness or depression or instability um exhaustion mental exhaustion probably being overworked and then being nagged at by the karmic all the time and being controlled and manipulated by the karmic they just don't have the energy to offer you um, to be your king of wands right now. They don't have the energy to step up and give you the kind of love offer you want, you know? So they kind of feel like you're above them in a, in a sense. But they are, they are coming. I do feel, I feel like this reading is better than the other third party readings we've done. I really do actually. Because at least in this reading, your person is finally wanting to leave the karmic. It's not like, I mean, before it was kind of like more back and forth where it was just, you know, being in denial and wanting to leave and dreaming about leaving, but they never really did anything. But at least this time, I feel like your person actually did make an effort to leave. Like they did actually say something in the physical world to the karmic, I believe. Like they did actually say, I want this to be over. But it, but unfortunately, the karmic just was not having that. So she dominated and, and your person just went back to, okay, whatever, I can't deal with this drama or I can't lose my kids, you know, I want to get out of this relationship, but I can't lose my kids, or I can't lose my apartment, or I can't have my friends or family find out these secrets about me, you know, like, you're, the karmic actually, I think, literally blackmailed him to stay, um, and so I'm kind of wondering if maybe the love is gone, and it's just like, she just doesn't want to lose him to you, she doesn't want to deal with that humiliation, I think you guys might have, some of you might have mutual friends, and so she doesn't want to see all your mutual friends see him with you, um, you know what I mean? Like, then it's like you won. It's like, it's all just a game to her or to him, whoever, however that plays out. It's all just a game to, to the karmic. I do kind of feel like your mutual friends might have brought you up. I do feel that energy. Um, cause she's jealous right now for sure. She knows about you, I think, or he knows about you, however that plays out. Uh, with the two of cups though, I mean, he is, he, your person is wanting to come forward. They do want to come forward with this love offer. They're just not sure how to do it right now. They're just trying to survive the karmic and get out of this situation first. But they they do want to come forward and present this love offer, this two of cups to you. They want that love with you. They want that new start. They just know that it's going to require a lot of strength and courage and confidence. And they're trying to figure out how to get their strength back. They've lost themselves to this karmic relationship. They need to do soul retrieval work with a legit shaman too. If you can find a real shaman, no, no scam artist, you got to find a real shaman to do soul retrieval, that would help, you know, going back and calling those soul pieces back in um, so they can be whole, whole again because they've lost a lot of themselves to relationships in the past and especially to this karmic. They've lost a huge part of themselves and they might not really ever be their true full selves again unless they get soul retrieval done. So that's really important for this group. Um, yeah, both two of cups and strength. It's like they're trying to figure out how to be strong, how to be confident, how to be passionate how to love life again how to be brave again like they used to be how do they get this energy back so they can come forward to you with this two of cups this love offer how do they match this queen of wands energy how do they, how are they ever going to be your equal when they feel so weak and exhausted um and so they're trying to find this balance you know they're trying to figure out like how do i get away from the karmic and then also heal and make room in my life for um for this new love, for this this relationship with you, for this connection, how do I how do I be braver than I have been in the past? How do I be more confident and and more certain than I have been in the past? You know, and so they're just they're thinking about all of this a lot right now. They're thinking about how to find this balance, how to have this balance, how to how to outsmart the karmic and get away from her or him and and how to just get their energy back finally. They're really just wanting to find themselves and wanting to be themselves again and wanting to actually care about life again. You know, I feel like they're in a deep depression right now. So anyway, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you would like a private reading, my email is below. Thank you.